Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to give method of variation of parameters to solve the linear differential equation with the constant coefficients. This method is very very important method. See the statement. Apply method of variation of parameters to find the complete solution of d square y by dx square plus y is equal to secant x. Here the right hand side function is secant x. Okay. So how can we find out this type of problems in this method? First of all we have to find out the complementary function as usually. After that to find particular integral we can't use the formula 1 by f of d into q of x. In general 1 by f of d of q of x. This is the formula to simplify p i. But in the method of variation of parameters, we can't use this formula. We can find the particular integral by using complementary function. Okay, see. First of all, we have to write the given differential equation in operator form. After that, we have to find out complementary function as usually. See. The operator form. of given differential equation is here d square by dx square can be replaced by capital D square. Y is there here also y is there. So d square plus 1 of y is equal to secant x. Take it equation number 1. Okay. Here f of d is equal to d square plus 1 and capital D is nothing but d by dx and the right hand side function in the method of variation of parameters is represented by secant x. In general right hand side function is represented by q of x but in the method of variation of parameters we can take capital R otherwise R of x which is also a function in terms of x. So first of all write the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of 1 is f of m is equal to 0. Sum of the member can written as f of r is equal to 0 as you wish. So what is f of m? Replace d is equal to m in f of d and equate to 0. m square plus 1 is equal to 0. So we have to find out the roots for this equation which is m square is equal to minus 1. So what about m plus or minus root over minus 1. Whenever we got negative inside the root it means that it is i because i square is equal to minus 1 that's why i is equal to root over minus 1 that's why plus or minus i nothing but 0 plus or minus i clearly these are in the form of a plus or minus ib a is the real part which is 0 and b is the imaginary part which is 1 okay so complementary function of 1 is yc is equal to e power 0 x it would be 1 so c1 cos bx so c1 cos x plus c2 sin x here a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 that's why this is the complementary function for the given differential equation now we are going to find out the particular integral by the method of variation of parameters c now by the method of variation of parameters we can take pi as yp is equal to see here in the method of variation of parameters always we can find the yp by using yc here already we know that c1 and c2 what are they parameters c1 comma c2 are parameters in this method of variation of parameters we can change c1 by a of x okay and cos x is similar term plus we can replace this parameter c2 by b of x b of x means it is a function in terms of x into remaining part is similar so here we have sin x in the product that's why i'm writing it is sin x okay the method of variation of parameters is nothing but what is the mean by variation variation is nothing but changing what is the mean by parameters here c1 c2 are the parameters 
in this method we can find out yp by changing parameter c1 and c2 as a of x and b of x so it is enough to find the values of a of x and b of x okay take it equation number two so before finding the values of a of x and b of x i will find out the ron skin of uv okay w of u comma v is nothing but nothing but ron skin of u and v here u is nothing but cos x we can get the values of u and v from yc so the definition of ron skin is determinant of first row is uv second row is u dash v dash so what is the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix product of these two terms uv dash minus product of these two terms u dash v so that is equal to what is u u means cos x into what is v v dash v dash means derivative of v it would be derivative of sin x nothing but cos x cos x into cos x i can write as cos square x minus now we have to write derivative of u which is minus sin x because derivative of cos x is minus sin x so minus of minus plus sin x and in the product we have to write v what is v sin x sin x into sin x sin square x it would be 1 so this is the ron skin of uv now we know that by the method of variation of parameters the formula for a of x is equal to minus integral v r whole by ron skin of uv into dx otherwise you can also write directly uv dash minus u dash v in the denominator as you wish okay so minus what is v sin x what is our right hand side function in the given problem it is secant x whole by ron skin i got ron skin as 1 into dx and everybody knows that secant x can be written as 1 by cos x so sin x into 1 sin x by cos x into dx what is the integration of this one clearly it is in the form of f dash of x by integration f dash of x by f of x okay so log of the denominator clearly derivative of cos x is minus sin x i will take this negative sign to inside so it would be log mod denominator okay don't add any arbitrary constant c here because this is a second order differential equation so its general solution should contain only two parameters already that two parameters are came in yc so don't add any in constant c whenever you are taking the integration in the part of yp okay so it is enough to find out the b of x value okay we have another formula for b of x c now b of x is equal to the formula for b of x is integration u into r whole by ron skin of u comma v into dx so that is equal to integration of what is u cos x we got u and v values in yc don't forget it okay so this is u and this is v and what is r right hand side function in this problem right hand side function is given as secant x by 1 dx so clearly we know that secant x is nothing but 1 by cos x already cos x is in product so cos x 1 by cos x getting cancelled remaining part is only 1 so integration 1 is only x so b of x is equal to x okay so from 2 implies substitute a of x values here you got a of x value as log mod cos x and b of x as x you can replace these both values in equation number 2 so you will get yp what is yp a of x it would be log mod cos x into cos x first i will write this cos x cos x into log mod cos x plus b of x into sin x it would be x sin x in this way we can get the yp so finally what is the general solution general solution otherwise complete solution of given differential equation is y is equal to yc plus yp so y is equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus 
what is yp recently we got this one cos x into log mod cos x plus x sin x so this is the complete solution of the given differential equation in the next video i will give some more examples on method of variation of parameters this method is very very important so please prepare carefully thank you very much